Okay, this is um, College Algebra Chapter Review, um, Section 3. And this topic is simplifying products or quotients of higher radicals with different indices univariant. So the best way to work these out is to change them into their exponent form. And then once they're in their exponent form, you can combine them using your power rules. Okay. So the first one, first rule we're going to use is the fact that the nth root of anything to the power m can be written as that same base to the m exponent over n index. So this is a rule we're going to apply to both of these expressions. So when I apply that, this exponent, because there is not one given, is a 1. So this expression will become w to the 1 over 6 times this expression will become w to the 3 over 4. Then the next rule that we're going to apply is that when you have um, a base with an exponent times the same base and another exponent, they could be the same or they could be different, you add the exponents. For example, remember when we have x squared times x cubed, we get x to the fifth, right? So we're going to do that same thing here. We just happen to have fractions. So I'm going to write out what we're going to do, and then I'm going to do the actual adding. Now normally you don't write this step, but I like to write on the paper so when you go back you know what happened. And then if they want the answer back into its radical form, then you use this rule again, but going in this direction. So now I'm going to have the 12th root of w to the 11. And that is the final answer for that problem. Now for this one, we're going to use the same rule. So we're going to convert the numerator into v5 over 6. The denominator is going to be v to the 1 -third. And then I'm going to apply the rule for division. So when you have a base with an exponent divided by the same base with the same or different exponent, you take the base and you subtract the top exponent minus the bottom exponent. So I'm going to apply this rule. So then I'm going to get v to the 5 6 minus 1 3rd. Again, I don't really ever write that step. You just do it. But for teaching purposes, I'm going to go ahead and leave it in there so that that way you can see what I've done. So we get one half. And then the final thing to do is since they gave you the problem in radicals, you want to change this back to the radical form. So now you're going to use this rule again, but going in this direction. So I have it in exponent form. I want it in radical form. So this is going to be the square root of v to the first power. When it's square root, you don't have to write the 2, and when it's 1, you don't have to write the 1. So it's just the square root of v. E.